He says, no. Saga you are the uh, red of the Chinese army. Yeah. I said, I'm going over two, 200. Two million? Over two million? Right. Now, you got these so-called Christian evangelists who say, if you go to Revelation 9, about the, uh, the, two, the 200,000 thousand, they're saying that's the Chinese army. That's not the Chinese army. I believe even, uh, no, Christ, you can't even say it's the angels. The 200,000 thousand are angels. They're not angels. They're not the Chinese army. They're the Muslims. Right, that's right. right. Yep, which is part of the Lord's honor during the second chapter. Yeah, which, um, Shalom, Shalom, all praise, honor, and the glory go to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Peace and safety to the hopefully let all the sincere brothers out there scattered to the four corners. Uh, you heard it out of the mouth of the false prophets that Revelation 9. The thousands upon thousands of angels in Revelation 9 is referring to missiles. So now the angels are the missiles. Okay. I tell you, these guys infatuated with Esau. And uh, basically they're saying the horsemen in Revelation 9 is referring to the missiles. And uh, Joel chapter 2, where it refers to the horsemen. Is referring to Esau missiles. Now I'm gonna give you some precepts and show you who the horseman is, man. Okay. So this is Joel chapter two, and um, let's see. Uh, we can start at uh three. So it says a fire devour before them. According to these guys, the them is the missiles. And behind them a burning flame. And the land is as the garden of Eden before them. And behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And as horsemen, so shall they run. Now, according to what you just heard in the clip, uh, According to the elder at GMS, this is referring to the Lord's army, which is, according to their doctrine, the missiles, man. So now let me get a precept. Let's go to that Revelation. Let's go to that Revelation chapter, chapter 9. Let's see if this referring to Esau missiles, man. All right, so this is Revelation 9. And, uh... I'm going to pick up at verse you know, 14. And it says, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay the third part of men. Because this is the host of heaven, man, the angels. Okay, not Esau missiles, man. Let's prove it in the next verse. Verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. Referring to the angels. The same horsemen that's referred to in Joel chapter 2, man. So these guys are bugged the fuck out, man. To hard even mention, ISUPK teach that this is the angels, man. That's why GMS is declared the worst group in Israel, man. False prophets, man. All right? Full of pride, too, man. Full of pride and don't know what the fuck they talking about, man. And you guys that's following this bullshit, man, open the scriptures. Read for yourself. Stop being man-pleasers. Because these guys going to get you destroyed, man. These guys going to get you destroyed. Now, according to what I just read in Revelation 9, the 200,000 thousand is not referring to missiles. It's referring to the angels, man. All right? The horsemen, man. All right? Which is the, the host of heaven, which are the Lord's army, man. Okay? So... 
These guys are bugging, man. So let's get another precept. Let's go to the Apocrypha. Go to the Apocrypha. Uh, let's see. Uh, so this is the Apocrypha. 2 Maccabees chapter 5. And I'll start at verse 2. It says, and then it happened that through all the city for the space almost of 40 days were they seen horsemen, horsemen running in the air. These are the same horsemen referred to in Joel 2. Angels, the same horsemen referred to in Revelation 9. Angels, man. There were seen horsemen, angels, running in the air in clothes of gold and armed and armed with lances like a band of soldiers, like a band of soldiers and troops of horsemen in array. Troops of horsemen in array and counting and running one against another with shaking of shields and multitude of pikes and drawing of swords and casting of darts, casting of darts and glittering of golden ornaments and harness of all sort, of all sort. So these are the horsemen, man. Okay, that's referred to in Revelation 9 and Joel chapter 2, man. Not no goddamn missiles, man. These guys are bugged out. The Lord is bugging these guys all the way out, man. All right. So if you are part of these guys organizations, man, separate yourself. Separate yourself, man. So let's go back to Joel chapter two. Joel chapter two and verse four. It says the appearance of them is as the appearance of horsemen, horses as and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of a chariot on top of the mountain show, shall they leap. Like the noise of flame and fire that devours the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. And that's why in 2 Maccabees, they refer to him as a, as a troop, man. All right? Set in battle array. Uh, let's see. Let's jump down. Let's jump down to verse, uh, let's see, so these guys don't know what the hell they talking about, man, I just exposed uh, Elder Ramlock for saying that the hell uh, stones are referring to missiles. Now you got these guys talk about the angels, all right, the horsemen, all right. The host of the Lord is referring to angels, man. So this is, um, this is, uh, verse 11. It says, and the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, before his army. The angels are referred to as the host, all right. The Lord of hosts, man. The Lord of what? Armies, man. That's the Lord's army, man. All right. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. And who can abide in it? So that's what it's referring to, man, in Revelation 9, man. It's not referring to missiles. Okay. In Revelation, uh, uh, Salakia, Joel chapter 2. Right, it's the same horseman that's referred to in Maccabees in the book of Revelations. Let's get another precept. Salakia. Let's get another precept in the book of Revelations. Uh, Revelation 6. It talks about uh, the horsemen referring to angels. So this is uh, Revelation 6 and 2. And I saw... And behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and conquering. 
Now, he that sat on the white horse is referring to Yahweh Shai. According to Isaiah 47, he's not going to meet thee as a man. So he's coming back uh, in his glory, man. All right. The same angel in Revelation 7, man. Ascending from the east, descending from the east. All right. That's giving commands to the four angels to hold back the wind. That's Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. And there went out another horse, another horse that was red and power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. This is referring to the angels, man. All right. Those same four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, man. All right, referred to as horsemen, man. All right, so this is verse five. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see, and I beheld. And lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard the voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the oil. And the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I look and behold a pale horse, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, and with hunger, and with death. And with the teeth, and with the wild, and with the beasts of the earth. So that's your four soul judgments, man. All right? Dealing with the angels, man. So the angels are the horsemen, man. That's referred to in Revelation 9 and Joel chapter 2, man. Not no goddamn missiles, man. Not no damn missiles, man. So let's get another precept. Stay in the book of Revelations. Um, let's see, Revelations chapter, I believe it's 20, let's see, let's show you the horseman, man, let's show you who the horseman is referring to, show you it's referring to angels, okay, that's who the horseman is referring to, not no goddamn missiles, man. Those guys are false prophets. Okay. They're false prophets. Let's see. Tahar is a false prophet. And those guys that's with him are man pleasers, man. So, uh, this is Revelation chapter 19. And, um, verse 11. It says, I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him was called Faithful and True. All right, the same white horse in Revelation 6. Okay. Faithful and true, and in righteousness he doeth judge and make war. And his eyes was as a flame, flame of fire, and on his head was a crown, and he had a, a name that no man knew of but himself. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies, and the armies, the angels, all right, the angels, all right, that troop, all right, the, uh, the Lord's army, all right, his great exceeding army. So it says, and the armies which were in heaven followed him. Upon the white horse, clothed, uh, clothed in fine linen, and white and clean, white and clean. So, that's who the horsemen are, man. Okay? The armies, the hosts, man. All right? That's what's coming out of that bottomless pit, man. Okay? So, that's the understanding of uh, Joel chapter 2. Revelation 9, okay, that's the understanding of it. That's the correct understanding. Like I say, you, those guys is GMS or bug outs, man. 
Okay, they're bug outs, man. So that's the point on that. And uh, with that, I'm going to say shalom.